Today, we're going to be doing an overview of uh, BFW's new online test generator powered by Cognero. Um, so I'll just be reviewing some of the ins and outs of this new of our new test generator today. Um, all right. So the screen we're looking at here um, is our test generator. Um, now, in order to gain access to this test generator, uh, you will actually have to go and contact your BFW representative um, they will send you a fulfillment link that's just going to ask you to fill out your name, your school, uh, and your email. Uh, then once we have received that information, we'll send you another link to access the test generator. Um, and then from there, you'll be able to log in with your uh, BFW credentials, and you should be able to see a screen that looks similar to mine. Now, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at here, um, over on the left-hand side of the screen, this is where you can find your question sets up towards the top. And then you can also find any of the tests you've built down here below. Um, now, the middle of the screen here is kind of like the editing plane. So this is where you would go to build uh, your tests, um, which is what we're going to start with today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new test. From here, I can give it a name, which we'll call it practice test. And I can select the folder I want to place it in. I'm just going to keep it in my, my test folder since I know, you know, these are my tests. Um, now, below that, you have three options for build options. Um, the first one that is selected allows you to build a test with questions randomly selected by question type. Um, so essentially, it'll allow you to go through, say, you want X amount of true, false, X amount of multiple choice, X amount of free response. And then we'll randomly select questions for you. Same idea with the second option. It builds a test uh, with questions randomly selected by specific question information, such as you know level of difficulty or state standards. Um, so you can kind of filter through questions that way as well. Um, the third option is just to build an empty test from scratch, which is the option I'm going to go with today. So once you've selected your build options, you can go ahead and click Finish. And this right here that's opened up, this is our practice test that we just created. So now we can go ahead and add some questions to it. Um, so <clears throat> in order to begin adding questions, you'd first want to come into your question set. I'm just going to use this uh, economic set since I have that here. But let's say I want some questions from module 1.1. One, one. So clicking on these arrows here will have it expand downward. So I actually can see each of these questions. If I do hover over them, it's going to give me that full question view so I can see what the question is along with the answers that are available for it. Now, if it's something I want to add to my assessment, I can just click and drag it from here, move it over to the practice test, and boom. That is now, this question is now on your test. Um, so you can go through each of these this way by clicking and dragging. However, there is an easier way to do that. Um, if you did want to, say multi-select multiple questions click on options up here and then you have this option here to enable multi-select for this set once that is selected you can go through and select as many questions as you would like to carry over to your uh, a test once you have those questions selected come back up to the options um, and there will be at the very bottom add to existing tester set it's going to ask you which test you want to add this to. We'll go to our practice test and click OK. It'll now upload those questions there directly to um, your test. Another way you can look through uh, the question sets up here is actually using this uh, little search by criteria feature. Um, so you do first have to have, say, a question set selected. I have this uh, macro module 1.2 selected. So I'm going to go up here, and if I want to narrow down my search results, I'm going to search by criteria. So just for example, I'm going to say economic, and that's the criteria we'll search by. If I click OK, now as you can see, it just narrowed it, our search down to two questions. Uh, both these questions have a reference to the word economic in them. Um, so those will be the only questions you see available here. Um, now, if you wanted to clear that search by criteria, you just click up here again, and it will undo that search, pulling up all the questions for you. 
Um, you do have more options for search by criteria too. There is an advanced option here. Um, so if you are looking for something very specific, maybe you know a certain type of question type, or uh, maybe you're looking for a rationale or a level of difficulty, um, you can put that specific criteria in here. So let's say a specific topic, it contains, and then you enter your value here. And it will pull up all those questions for you. Um, so those are just some of the ways you can kind of filter through the question sets to find those specific questions you'd like to add. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna show you another way to uh, continue to add questions to your exams. I'm actually gonna go ahead and close this exam. And now we're gonna open up one of these question sets. So you can actually open these up just like you can one of your tests. Um, so if I wanna say, look at this module 1.3, I can just click and drag back here and it will open up in the middle here so I can actually view all these questions. Um, now this babe, you know, be a bit of a better view here. As it does, I actually allow you to see like the answers to each of these as well. Um, so it does provide you more information at a quick glance. Um, but then you can, again, just click and drag to add these questions to your test. Or once again, if you click on, oh, I'm sorry, uh, up at the top here, you do have this uh, enable multi-select tool, which again, will allow you to select multiple questions. And then you just come back up here to add existing to test. And there we have it. <clears throat> now, while you're previewing these questions, there also is this option here to display question information. So if you're curious to learn more about, you know, these questions you have up, um, you can select uh, these options here. Right, right now, by default, it will just show the answers with each of these questions. But if you kind of wanted to see like maybe the rationales, the difficulty of these, uh, you can apply those there and it's going to provide you with some more information on uh, these particular questions here. Um, whether or not, you know, the level of difficulty, um, the answer is, um, you can also add additional things such as points, learning objectives, um, specific topics they're covering. So that's a way you can see more information on the test or the uh, questions before you go and actually add them to your test. Okay, so that is making how basics of going over and searching for your questions, adding them to the test. I am going to pull the test back up here <clears throat> just to review a few more things. Um, so up at the top here, this green plus sign, this will actually allow you to write in your own new questions. Um, so there are a number of question options here. So you do have some flexibility with what you can create. Um, but once you have your co uh, question type selected, click OK. And then it will allow you to begin filling in the question information here. So in this case, this is a true false question. I can give it a title. I can uh, type in my question prompt here and then determine which was, uh, the answer is down below. Um, it also does allow you a space to provide some rationale for the question as well as some additional info too, if you wanted to add that in. Um, but you do have the ability to create your own questions and add them to your tests. In addition to that, we do have options up here for how you want to organize the test. Um, you can have it organized by question type. So if you're going through and just kind of putting in questions from you know, some free response here and there, some true and false, and everything's kind of all over the place, um, you can organize by question type. So it'll just put your true false questions together, uh, your multiple choice questions together, any, any free response questions together, things like that. Um, or if you prefer to have your exam scrambled, that option's right next to it. It'll just scramble up all those questions for you. Um, it also will scramble those answer choices too for uh, the multiple choice um, answers. Uh, so you will have all of those available as well. Um, so yeah, just a great way to keep those, your exams looking different here from student to student. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, if you come up here to file, we do have some options for actually exporting these out of here. Um, so you can either export your tests here to a Word document, which would allow you to either print it out from there or continue to make edits. 
Um, there also are some files here that are compatible with um, our learning management system. So depending on what you're using, um, you can export um, your exams directly to your learning management system. In addition, you have uh, this option here just to print the exam out directly. Uh, so you do have the ability to print out a single version. Um, it gives you this option here to include the answer key, um, provide answer lines for your students, and then it asks you how much space you want um, between you know, the questions. Um, <clears throat> so we obviously want our answer key, so I'll select OK. It's now generating a PDF version of this exam that we can now print out. I'll go ahead and click right here, open it up, download it to my computer. And here we have it. So this will download for you. Um, it does provide all the questions you've added here. Um, and then at the very end, on a separate page, is the answer key for yourself. Now, that is printing a single version. You do have the ability to print multiple versions. Um, so this will actually scramble the questions and the answers with each version you generate. Um, so I'll just go ahead and select print a new version. It generates that PDF again. Um, but now all the questions and uh, their answers will be scrambled. So it's going to look a bit different. Um, so I can open that up, download that there. Now, if I want another version, boom, I just have to print, select print new version. And again, this is going to look different than what I just downloaded to my computer. Um, so it does give you an, um, an easy ability to, you know, make one exam and just generate it in different forms uh, to keep it looking different from student to student. All right. So that pretty much covers how to build an exam, um, how, to, how you can add and edit the questions, create your own questions, and then export or print out uh, these exams. Um, another feature you can do in here is you actually have the ability to share content. So if you do have any other teachers in your school um, that are using the same test generator, you guys can share your exams that you're building or the question sets you built. Um, so if I look in the middle of the page here, you have this share content using the share center. So I'll just go ahead and click right there. I'm gonna go ahead and share content. I then wanna go ahead, I'm gonna share this practice test I built. So I'll go ahead and select next. Um, on this page here, it's gonna have a list of all of the instructors at your organization that are currently using the same test generator as you are. Um, so you would just be able to find your colleagues here, select uh, that particular person, and then you can go and share this exam with them. <clears throat> In addition to all this, up in the top right corner, there are there is this option for getting started. Um, these will give you access to our getting started videos, which do cover most of what I've discussed today. Um, but if you do have some you know additional questions and just want a quick review, um, these videos are very useful up here in the top right corner. And then lastly, there's this help option here that once you click on, we'll pull up this little test generator help. Um, you can just type in some keywords, maybe something of the question you uh, or the question you have, um, and it should be able to provide you the instructions on how to how to do that. So those are two great help resources out there. Um, but if you do ever need additional support, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.